What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. 2023 was a great year for me. I was able to get out and explore some new places along with filming some videos, which I'm very grateful for. It was also my first year working as a full-time naturalist guide and boat captain for Barrier Island Eco Tours, which has been a blast. I've learned so much through them and I'm excited for the next season coming up. I figured it would make sense to put together a little highlight video of my favorite memories that I've captured throughout 2023 on camera. Hope you guys enjoy it. There's also going to be some unseen footage from videos that are not released yet on the channel, so stick around for those, and Happy New Year! Really tailing, really happy. Oh, guys are coming toward me now. Look at that thing. Oh my god! Oh, did I saw my fly? Did he break it? He broke it, dude. That was a monster. That's a heartbreaker. I hate breaking off on fish. Not because I want to catch him, just because I feel bad. Oh, I see another tail. I see another tail. All right, we're gonna just retie, and they definitely like the fly presentation, so we're gonna get another fly on and try this again. All right, just spotted another fish. He's cruising good. Looking for shrimp. Oh yeah, very happy fish. Let's see if we can get him on this fly. Don't do that. There we go. I missed him again. How? That was a good strip set. I got the fly still. Or do I? No way it took the fly again. The fly is not there. How is he? How are they breaking off? That's 14 pound test. I've never had an issue with this, bro. Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a nice one. Jeez, dude, he's taking me so deep up in that grass. Let's keep that fly up. Come on. Oh my gosh. Jeez, dude, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Don't want to put too much pressure on him. Oh my gosh, it's a nice fish. I'm gonna try to get to him. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Work yourself out there. Come on. 
Glad I have the 10 weight right now. Can really work them. See if I can get over to him. He's kinda, kinda stuck. That's my biggest fish on the fly. Or maybe my second biggest fish. I caught a huge bass once, but this is definitely my biggest redfish on the fly. Still probably got some energy. Nice, dude. Look at that thing. That's a beaut. Love to see that. Yeah. Gorge. Absolutely gorgeous. That's what we're talking about. Awesome, man. Yeah, that's a, I'd say that's close to a PB. He's probably, he's not quite as big as I thought he was. I'd say that's a PB though. We're calling that a PB. That's probably a 24 to 25 inch fish. They exist. We can confirm. These fish exist, guys. <laughs> oh man, that, that's really rewarding. Just a lot of hard work. A lot of struggles, but came prepared and we executed. Look at that gorgeous fish. We'll get him unhooked and release him. He's croaking. Must be a boy. Ooh, don't bite the hell out of me. There we go. Look at that, my GoPro's about to fall off my head, but that's a redfish safely caught and most importantly, safely released. Let's give him a good revival. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're good. Yeah, that was a tiring fight. There you go. Sweet. Awesome. We're literally trying to get them to I'm eat it. trying to catch them. <laughs> That's a nice one. Got something decent there. Yeah, I might need some net action here, fellas. He's heavy. It might be a black drum, honestly. Or it could be a stinger. <laughs> I don't think it's a ray, but no, it's definitely not a ray. I think it's a black drum, or it could be a decent red. I don't know. Let's get a net, though. Oh, is it a huge trout, dude? It might be a monstrous trout. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. It might be like a 20 inch trout. Oh, yep, God. yep. That's a big Oh my God, just like a 20 inch trout, bro. Yeah, bro. Let's go, yeah, boys. Bro, bro, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, that is <laughs> giant. That's, like, that's like 21 inches, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like 20, bro. God, Look at that dude. thing, bro. Let's get a measure. That might be over 20. Yeah. I think it's actually 20. Okay. 21. Dang, I was right over. 21, dude. 21. Release, a hey, hey, release over 20 moment. That's bro. a freaking release over look 20. Look at that. Baby. That's a release over 20 trout right there, guys. Wow. Biggest trout I've caught in a minute, too. Let's go, dude. Let's give her a nice release. Let's go back. And man, she's ready, dude. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Yes, dude. <laughs> that is hype. That is hype. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's a tarpon. It's a tarpon. It's a tarpon. Go, go, go. Catch up with him. Don't get slack. There you go. Stupid Bruh. net. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's a little go. tarpon, bro. Oh, that's go. oh, he's gonna jump. Oh god, try to get him away from the troll motor. Try to walk up front. I'm coming behind you. There you go. Oh my god. Oh, brother. Go. Oh, that brother go. <laughs> Go for the jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is so sick. Dude, he's the perfect size, bro. All right. 
Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. He has something like that. Ah. Look at that. That's a beauty, bro. Look at that thing. <laughs> right in the corner, boys. Little baby tarpon, son. Uh, gonna fought like a fucking mother. Nice. Oh. Try to poke his tail out a little more so you can get the pull. Yeah. Kind of hold him in front of you. Give him a little long arm action. It won't hurt. <laughs> dude, my first tarpon. That's dude, a crazy looking that's fish, That's a beauty, bro. dude. That's a crazy such looking a fish. Beauty. That is awesome. such a crazy looking fish. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is so cool. That's so cool. sick. All right, I'm putting them back. Dude, all three main target dude, species. Dude, <laughs> On day two. Yes, sir. Dude, that's such an alien looking They're fish, They're so bro. cool. They're so cool. <laughs> that came out of nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. Sucking on your phone. There you go. Got a spook of redfish. Yep, spooked. <laughs> well, that was our first redfish sighting. Ooh. I don't know if that was a bite or if I was rubbing on a piling. Here we go. Nice red. Nice red, guys. Let's go. Ooh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Doesn't really know he's hooked, I don't think. Ooh. Come on. Stay out of there. Ooh, boy, getting shallow. Come on. Stay out of there. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, so this one was just, it might have been the same fish that I spooked earlier. It looks around the same size, because he kind of spooked, but it wasn't, he didn't take off super far. He just kind of kicked off a little bit, and I just threw it up, kind of where I saw him spook up. And sure enough, we got him. Beauty. Woo! Chill out, buddy. So, yeah, a very, very clean, bank right here as far as the water clarity and it gave me the opportunity to sight fish which is exactly what I was hoping for at this inlet. I'm gonna try to spin around real quick get you guys a better look at this fish. A little better lighting. Here we go. Check them out. That's what we want to see. Make sure I don't get thrown into this dock here. It's a very strong tide but as you can see he absolutely destroyed that four inch natural color swim bait with the gold flakes, quarter ounce jig head. There we go. One more look. Here you go, dude. Thank you so much. There we go. Nice. Fighting good, man. This might be a decent one too. Oh yeah, beautiful trout. Come on, pedals. Come on. <laughs> Struggling with the net here, but that was a nice one. Holy cow. Another beautiful trout. This one's probably 18 inches. Maybe 17, 17 or 18, but very respectable. Whoo. This is a really nice trout. I'm gonna try to get a better lighting shot for y'all. What a stud, man. That's a beautiful, beautiful trout. Its tail's all kinds of messed up, probably just from living around the rocks, getting torn up every now and again. That's a gator. All right, see ya. Okay, they're kind of coming toward me. Now there's just a terrible glare. 
I really can't see these fish at all. Oh, I was right behind them. <laughs> Gosh, they're swimming right for me now. Oh, come on, turn back around. Yeah, there you go. Spooked them. Nope, I got him. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, that's a nice fish too, man. They're significantly larger than I than I think they are. Try to get me in frame here. Oh gosh, trying to film with the drone. Dude, I'm trying to do so much right now. If I lose, if I land this fish, I just straight up don't deserve it. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, something like that, come on. Tide's gonna probably take me out a good bit. All right, <laughs> it's a nice fish, for sure. All right. Oh, doing so many things at once, y'all. This is so difficult, but that is really cool, no doubt. That's a not a, dude, that's a solid fish, way bigger than I thought. Way bigger than I thought. Looks perfect. Oh gosh, don't splash all over my phone, please. <laughs> Did not think this through, this is gonna be tough. Okay, okay. Come here. Whew. Look at that beauty. Absolute awesome catch right there, man. And what an awesome point of view. So obviously since the drone's in the air, this fish is gonna go back and I think it's over slot anyway, but I never keep a single fish if the drone's in the air, even if I'm not using it to scout, which I, I don't. It's just for the point of view purpose, but let's go let this beauty go and hopefully find some more. Okay, hooks out. I'm gonna fly the drone over here real quick. Try to paddle back up to it and get a good good release on this guy. Cause that's the most important part is making sure they go back just as good as they came out. I'm telling y'all, this is not easy. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Doing all these things at once. I think you can kind of see me. It's not, the, it's not the greatest, but I'm there. I'm somewhere around there. <laughs> There he is, absolute awesome red. Cool, we'll send you back, bud. Thanks for that battle. I've also had a couple of chances to get the kayak out recently, and I've been able to get some awesome shots of stun feeding behaviors from Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. The fluke or tail on these dolphins, pound for pound, is one of the strongest muscles in the animal kingdom. With just a couple flips of that tail, that 400 to 600 pound animal could be 5 feet out of the water. And they'll use that muscular fluke to slap their prey, paralyze it, and then they'll swallow it whole. my drone footage I noticed something really cool. On the low tide when these dolphins were cruising up these narrow creeks, they would kind of give their tail a lighthearted slap in the water. And what that would do is spook any bait fish near them, giving up their presence. This shot right here managed to capture that. You can see the dolphin slapping its tail, and then right next to the marsh bank a school of mullet spooks out. And then the dolphin would turn in onto that school of fish and try to eat them.
Storm season on the East Coast is typically late summer, early fall, and it can push some really weird animals all over the place, areas where they're not supposed to be. And this year it seems like flamingos ended up just about everywhere they shouldn't be, including Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, I mean the list goes on and on, and I was lucky enough to film one here in Charleston, South Carolina. The last time an American flamingo was seen at the specific area that we were filming at was almost 40 years ago. This truly was a once in a lifetime experience, and I'm very excited to share these shots with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, stay hooked. All right guys, I was just driving along and I noticed some tin that looks looks snaky. So let's see if there's anything under it. Ooh, big old ant hill. What's up, buddy? Little racer. Yeah, you can bite me. Check out that black racer right there. Really cool. Yeah, you're, you're sassy, understandably, real sassy. This one looks to be in shed, so it doesn't have all the colors that you typically see, but nonetheless, very pretty fella. And again, if you're doing this, you definitely wanna know your snake species because obviously if something's venomous and you put your hands on it, things are not gonna go well for you, but that right there is a black racer. I'm gonna see if it'll cooperate for some pictures. I, I doubt it. <laughs> These guys really like to move. That's a cool first find to start the day.